Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So earlier I did a video on my new cargo walkthrough and I didn't really give a lot of dimensions and that's because I actually documented the entire process of me building it. So it took me a while to edit it because there's a lot of video footage and I wanted to cut out a lot of things because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit through a couple hours of you know me building things. So I've just put in the important parts so you guys can kind of understand you know where I went wrong and maybe some of the dimensions. So I made some tweaks to the cargo since the build video. And I'll try to document those in the video, so make sure you take a look at some of those footnotes that I put in. And with that said, let's get on into the video. Let's take a look at some of the uh, parts that I bought here. So I got a piece of plywood. As you can see, it's just a standard 4x8 which I had them cut it down because it wouldn't fit in my Forerunner easily. So I just uh, took one measurement so far, uh, if you guys recall the 39 inches for the topper, and um, I had them cut it down to 39 inches. So it's 39 by, um, I guess, 48 right now. So it's close enough that I'll just do the final cuts. And then this other piece I'm gonna have to cut down for, um, well, probably the sliding portion of my um, drawer system. So what I want to do is actually have instead of a traditional topper, which I know I said that was a topper uh, That's kind of my my backup plan But um, have this piece actually be sliding um, From the top and so this might actually end up being the topper instead and that might actually end up being the bottom Down here you'll see I got three pieces of 2 by 8 so I decided to go with 2 by 8 to get a little bit more storage so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, build out the frame for the 2x8s. Alright, so this is kind of what the frame is going to look like. Obviously it's not cut, but just imagine uh, it cut down flush to this 39 inch right here. Same over there, and then the backs. And my hope is that uh, what I'm going to do is put a slide right here and right there, and then cut a piece, a large piece that Basically, it's a square for this entire top, and then have it slide in and out on those on those uh, basically heavy-duty sliders. And the idea is that I can slide this whole thing out, and yeah, you'll be able to see all the cargo inside, but that's okay. My main concern right now is, you know, once I screw the plywood in, if it's going to be strong enough. Okay, right, so it looks like that back piece right there is going to be 39 inches. I think that's what I said in my last video as well, so I'm going to cut a piece to that length. All right, as you can see, it fits nicely back there. So these two now need to get cut shorter. All right guys, took a measurement and it looks like I need a 39 by 40 and a half inch piece of plywood and that'll complete the box frames. All right guys, so I measured everything out. You can see here I'm using my level. Um, I think they call this like a, a fence or a guide or something like that. But what you want to do is, um, if you, you want to cut a straight line, you've got to use something like this. Because you know a straight edge or a level is going to be really straight. And what you want to do is line up your, see the blade? You want to be to the right of it a little bit. And hopefully you guys can see that. But, um, you know, so as it rides along this edge, It'll cut a nice straight line for you. And you just gotta set it up. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. All right, guys, let's get to cutting. Make sure you guys got your safety stuff, you know. I wanna be breathing in sawdust. And uh, you'll notice that I actually have the bottom of this uh, plywood overhanging the, the table that I have there so it doesn't cut into the table, obviously. Here, I'll show you guys really quick. You can see there, there's no way of cutting into the table. All right, there you have it. That's a square. All right, guys, got it mocked up. Using two clamps to hold the back piece. But you can see here, got a little bit of trimming to do right there. 
and over there. Probably can't see it, but yeah, there we go. Just cut a little bit off before I screw everything in uh, from the bottom up into each of these uh, two by eights. And then uh, that'll give us the frame. All right, guys, got some things clamped up. And uh, I checked that it's 90 degrees, well, as best you can anyways. Using these clamps to kind of hold things in place and uh, I'm gonna go drill some holes on the bottom. Got this uh, countersinking uh, drill bit here that I'm gonna use. And then I found some two inch screws here. Hopefully I got enough. Doesn't look like I would do, but I bought some more. Let's see. Oh, I got some more two inches right here, so that's what we'll be using. guys see I've got screws all along the bottom all right we're just gonna repeat for the sides all right guys got all the sides on seems to be pretty sturdy uh, so I'm feeling a little bit better about my build now right now I need to put a couple screws here and here to kind of connect these uh, two by eights so I found these uh, longer screws that I'm going to use from my pile of uh, randomness. Alright guys, here's a look at the bottom. You can see. Lots of screws to hold it in. I'm mocking up my next cut. This is going to be the uh, top slider. So one thing I wanted to check first is like to see if this midsection was actually pretty strong and it actually is pretty strong which I'm happy about. I was worried since there's only really supports on the, the left, the rear and the right side here. But it actually is pretty stable. Alright guys, before we go to the next step I wanted to show you guys what I'm working with. So I got, these are the uh, slides that I'm going to be using for the drawers. So you can see I put the uh, drawer slides in there just so I can see how wide the drawer needs to be. Yeah, 34 and a half. So I'm going to do 34 and a half wide by 39. Alright, I didn't mention earlier that I actually went and got a new piece of uh, half inch plywood here. So um, I had them cut it down. So I bought a 4 by 8 piece and I had them cut it down to 39 inches. And you can see the cuts over there. And this is like 39 by 48 right now. So this line is 34 and a half. And then this... Um, or sorry, this width will be 34 and a half. And then this length, which is what Home Depot did for me. All right, got my piece cut and it looks like it fits. So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, the walls here. This piece right here should already be 39 inches. So I think if I cut it in half, that'll give me the two side walls. Um, I think I have about 13 inches right now or so, which I need about six and a half. I don't really want to go all the way to the top. One thing I'm worried about is, I remember the slides up here, there's gonna be a slide up here and an angle iron. So I don't want it to hit the angle iron. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the, um, the front piece now. So just as I suspected, it's pretty close to 33 and a half. I mean, this side member moves in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut 33 and a half inch by six pieces and then I'll assemble the drawer. All right guys, got all the uh, sides cleaned up with the sander. So the way I'm gonna screw these together is I'm gonna drill, um, let's see, one, two, three, and then one, two, three pocket holes. 
and it'll kind of screw in this way into this board. Same with that. And the back one will have three. And then, and then I'm gonna attach the uh, plywood from the underside up. And I'll probably glue it all together as well with the wood glue, just to make sure it stays uh, connected. Um, since there's gonna be a lot of downward force on the drawer when I start loading it. pocket holes drilled and uh, I use one of these special clamps to kind of hold things together here. Alright guys, got the uh, square thingy here all mounted together and next step is putting the piece of plywood on the bottom on. So I think I'm just going to flip it over and clamp it and then drill some holes and Put it together that way. All right, guys. Change of plans. I think what I'm gonna actually do is uh, instead of screwing it in, I'm gonna nail using my nail gun here. And just nail it, in. just because I don't really trust screwing in. This thing is only like half an inch. So what I'll do is I'll glue it first on all the rim, all the way around, and then I'll just shoot a couple nails in there to hold it, and then I'll clamp it and make sure nothing moves. Right, so I'm just gonna use this uh, Gorilla wood glue. guys uh, we're gonna go ahead and attach the drawer slides on now I think what I'm gonna do is just mount them all the way on the bottom all right guys I've got things uh, situated here clamp the uh, drawer slide down and go ahead and grab some uh, lag bolts from the hardware store they're about 29 cents each these are a 5 16th inch. Obviously, it's going to be different depending on which slides you use, but um, I'm probably just going to put a four on each side. And then um, one thing you got to be careful about is making sure that the head clears this slide right here, which this one clears just fine. So I'm going to pre drill the holes so I don't ruin the wood, and then I'm going to get them in there. Got both sides in. As you can see, it's pretty strong. All right, next step is to put the drawer in and then uh, see where these things line up. And then we can bolt those onto the, uh, the drawer over here. All right, guys, so what you want to do is just put the drawer in and pull it out slightly and get the slide out just a little bit if you can. Might need a screwdriver. Um, so like this one here, it's already coming out. And I actually marked a little line to know where I need to do it. And then what you can do is drill one screw in there, <clears throat> which I'll do that right now. And then on this side, 
same thing and then you can pull it out a little bit more and then put the next screw in and um, it's kind of up to you if you don't want this to ride on the bottom you know if you want it raised a little bit now that it's attached it should pull out and just push this piece back in expose more holes 